Hello, apologies for the sound. It's a little bit bad here. I forgot the lapel mics. Uh, this is uh, one of the display panels from a kind of betting Greyhound Stadium kind of sign. Uh, it's usually wired up to something called a totalizator, which is a big funky computer that is like just I don't, I don't know what it looks like yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna there there is one for this, but not got hold of it yet. So I thought I should fettle this first. This is the display. This is one of four so far, maybe five, and it's a really interesting mechanism. So this video, we're just gonna focus on this single display. I've managed to get all of the bits running. It needed a little bit of cleaning. Well, it basically, like most of this stuff, it needed quite a bit of cleaning and a bit of um, kind of just adjustment. And now if we turn it up to 24 volts, get the motor going, we're gonna be able to go through all of the numbers. Let's do this. zero and then back to one. Oh, let's go to two. So yeah, the, it's like basically a big old flip dot display. I assume it is pre-1960s, I'm assuming from the, from the, what it looks like, it might be 1930s, I'm not sure. Please comment below if you know stuff about totalizator boards and these kind of boards and things because I'm gonna have to do a lot of research and a lot of figuring out to get this wired into the totalizator board. We've actually got the input device, or one of the input devices for the actual machine from TOTE tote. There we go. Um, this has seen better days, but it's gonna be a fiddle with it. It's actually got connectors on the back, which are telecom connectors. So I'm assuming that there are some connectors that are gonna connect up to it. And then this also has the connectors on the side, uh, which are also telecommunications. So with any luck, the rest of it's gonna be uh, sitting about. And um, yeah, I'm gonna show you the back of it because it's very interesting. So, we're going to hey, I've literally got the motor wired in right now, but it's very involved. There's a cam set up that basically pushes um, these forwards. Um, so if I push it from the back, it's just a basically, there's, um, there's a gear, and then there's a long thin uh, gear, and that just basically pushes, pushes these mechanisms. So from the top, you can see that there's this part on it. Uh, this is the, uh, I'm assuming this is the part where it knows what number it's on because it doesn't run through all the numbers all the time. It stops at a certain number. So there's this connector, there's a multi connector to it with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 uh, pins. So there must be homing, power, and a couple of other things. There's a switch down here that um, switches up and down. There's a gear here, but all of it connects up and then it tells you what number it's on from the back because obviously this would have been connected into something. This would have been, you know, <laughs> bolted onto a wall. There's no actual obvious mount points on it. So um, that's gonna be interesting. So there's another three and I haven't worked on them yet. And then there's these interesting machines that are also connected to the machine, but these are interesting because if you look at it, it selects from the top, but it's also got a plethora of connections, like a serious amount of connections. The connector to that is gonna be somewhere, just gotta track it down. But um, yeah, it will be a case of wiring this all up to the totalizator and just hoping for the best, but let's run through it again and get some close-ups on this machine. Right, so. Get a shot on the back. It's obviously not supposed to be run in succession like this, it only counts over to a number, but still, it will show you that, yeah, it's pretty good, it's running pretty well. It didn't run at the start, obviously, but a lot of lubrication and quite a bit of cleaning, but as you can tell, it still needs quite a bit of cleaning. Oh yeah, look at that. 
So yeah, we're gonna get this and the rest of them wired in. You'll notice that there's four of them. I know there's gonna be some comments saying, turn it into a clock, but you can't just turn everything into a clock. That would be just too boring, wouldn't it? So we're gonna actually get these wired in to hopefully the totalizators, and if it's not too big of a problem, of, of, a, of a challenge, we'll get, get it sort of doing what it's supposed to do. But yeah, that is a quick look at a totalizator board digit. I guess a numeric digit that counts from one to zero because it does start at one and it finishes at zero because the pause, which is right here, is between zero and one. So I'm assuming zero is the last number on this. Needs a good old, good old solution, good old washing. Uh, if anybody has any images uh, or recognises this specific. Uh, this specific assembly and you've got images of the boards that these ones were in or more information on the totalizators and the totalizator boards that this specific one looks like it was from then that would be grand um, but I'm assuming it's all a little bit lost to the sons of time and uh, when and when and when the time comes to see more about the rest of the machine well you you're watching the videos it anyway ask at the museum because there is a chance that we'll be able to get one of these running to show you the function prior to it working but yeah we're open from this weekend onwards every Saturday and Sunday till whenever but check the open times for definite on the website anyway to little